The only restriction is I must only use my dominant hand or something. Like, what is this kind of nonsense all about? Like, what? I don't know about that. I don't mind playing, like, the one versus two, but this weird thing about dominant hands and stuff like that. And I know, Opie, you made a request as well. Art of Defense, Opie edition. I'm sure that'll be fun. So, yeah, yeah. I, I never really put any st stipulations or particular rules when it comes to requests. Sort of, like making it more clear as to what you can and can't, but I would like to think that there is some sort of common sense to some degree of what is more applicable and what isn't. There were times where I had done strategies, for example, where it was literally playing with one hand or something like that, but they're really annoying to do, and I really would not like to do them anymore. <laughs> Basically. But I don't know if I really need to write that as a bio in my um, Twitch page or a YouTube page is something that you need to take into consideration. It's tough, because you can't cover every single angle, can you, really? Exactly, like those requests where you have to sort of possess all of the enemy units, and, you know, uh, like, possess one of every single enemy unit, and it's like, yeah, sure, it sounds good on paper, but it's practically impossible to do in the game, because you have to assume that all your opponents are going to be in the game long enough for you to even perform something like that. You're not going to be getting threatened, you're not going to be taken down, you're going to be able to get an expansion so you can have the resources to pull off a strategy like that in the first place. Your opponents are going to be of particular races, so you can actually get all those units. Do you see what I mean? Like... It, if it sounds like it's going to be super complicated, it probably means that it's not that viable. It's the simple way to look at it. Right. Just simple is best, because there's a lot of variables in Warcraft 3, and things can go wrong. Speaking of which, we actually have got a strategy here. I'm the right race for it, so let's give it a go. Ah. I need to click the button properly. Hello Joyful, I challenge you into playing a very cheesy strategy in 4v4 RT as human. Your ass with AM, your main focus will be into spreading salt by blowing up town halls. Yep, yep. Simply make mortar teams and turn them invisible with sorceress. So basically, we're gonna want an expansion. It's not the be-all and end-all. You could just go straight to tier 3 or tier 2 and pull off the strategy, but it's not that expensive, the units. They're only 180 gold, the mortar teams, but, you know, if you really do get yourself solidified with an expansion, you can then afford the shredder more comfortably. That would take your, you know, your lumber woes down, etc, etc, and go from there. Give you more opportunity to then build up a ridiculous amount of mortars. It'll be worth getting a shop at some point. As and when you, you can. Thank you. All. Right, I'll settle for just one V2, no hand nonsense. Yeah. Settle, eh? Compromise. That's a word I've been using a lot today for some reason. So I was just in a small creek camp there, nothing too uh, important. I could have moved straight to the expansion, but you need time anyway for the peasants to build up. We'll go for our corner expansion, we're in a good spot for that. Could get a tower in my own base. Blade Master hasn't attacked yet though, so seems like it's okay. I'm gonna get myself defend next, because I got the lumber for it. And it's useful. And I don't want to go too crazy on the footman. And just build peasants when you can. So bring these over here, this here, that there, that there, that here. Yes, me lord. Well, what do you need? What is it now? And then that will line up quite nicely, all of the attacks. So Shredder is obviously on my mind. Something on your mind. Pull these back, let the Archmage come in. Take expansion, nice item. In you go, pop the expansion down. That'll do for Lumber for now. Come over, go for Shredder Potential. Take a... I've been scouted for some reason. Maybe you got um, the Globe. Don't know. So we got Defend, so that's bloody nice. Versus these annoying Assassins. I want to tech as soon as I can, because obviously... We're going to be using tier 2 to tier 3 units. I say tier 3 because of the mortar team upgrades for splash damage versus units, even though this is versus buildings. 
Nasty poison. Tech. Hotkey. Definitely want to get Arcane Vault as well. Keep that back. And the Lumber comes in. So I can actually heal up my units. Because this Creek Camp is really, really overpowered in a lot of ways. There's a human. No, he doesn't have a shop. Okay. Finish that off. Come over here. Units are lovely and injured. But Water Elemental should do all the tanking here. So it should be okay. Gonna need our Shredder. When we can. Obviously Lumber is the issue. But we can get some extra Lumber from our Peasants over here. I'm going to try to save gold now, because I don't want to go too crazy on gold. You can take the item, I don't care that much. Just come back, get your shredder. I was going to put a farm here. I still want to get a farm here. I don't want to build it yet, because I want the lumber going towards the shredder. Take off defend, go to base, shredder. Right click, farm now. Lumber mill. And then you're going to get a blacksmith as well when you can. You can see the gold's quite low anyway after buying the shredder. And then I'm going to spend some more. Get a couple of sheep. You start chopping some trees, please. I'm going to spread these out a little bit. If the Archmage gets high level enough, we can actually just TP. Come over here now. And I'll get one more heal. And clarity. I don't think I need the... Uh, the cloak is actually... Nah. I'll, I like having space. I'm going to get that... I'm going to try to do the big creek camp. I'm going to set up some towers so I don't get killed. Because you never know, the enemy could just be trying to do some big push now. I don't expect them to, but they could try. So we'll just set up for that. Aggro the creek camp. Two taps brings the Ogre Magi around. And now we've got the Ogre Magi. That's finished. Make sure you pick up the item. You could just not creep this camp now. But we'll do it because we're not really doing much else better. And we'll tech up again just because more experience for the Archmage. So if we do the rest of this creep camp, that's more experience. 15% more experience. You guys can now go properly onto gold. Uh, let's see. Well, did we get our blacksmith? We didn't get our blacksmith yet, so let's get that set up. I might go for a second hero, even though it does obviously impact the Archmage experience. Ab has decided to quit for some reason. Don't know why. Let's see where we go from here. Second heal. Push. I guess it's nice to have the second hero anyway, it's just more control. Just more creeping, really. More experience. Keep it coming. Just pull these all the way back. Let the footmen heal up, for the most part. Let the water mentals do the work. Whittle away. Make sure you've got enough farms. Get your sorceress. Bring the footmen in now. So many water mentals so strong. Looks good to me. Get some more sheep as well. You can see there's two groups up over there because he's taking control. The middle is possible as well without putting too much pressure on the enemy. Okay, so now I am able to get myself the workshop buildings. Got quite a mighty base over here. Let's pull the middle, because why not? We can do it. Right, tech is complete, get the upgrades, sorks, etc. Well, 
Hello. Looks like someone's... Uh, yeah, I'll just let him die. Because I don't know what I'm up against at the moment. I'm going to try to nuke down this guy so I can get the item. That's an ally, though. I don't care about my footman, obviously. Because they're going to get all replaced. Just get the item. That's what I'm after. Even though it's not that good, it will still do. It's experience, and we can defend this. Hero comes back. Start getting ourselves the mortar teams and their upgrades. We're going to go really crazy on how many of those we're going to buy soon, which is why we're getting so many production facilities, so we can just really push past the 50 food mark. I'm just going to go check out their expansions, get some more information, if my sheep haven't brought in enough information. The second hero is not too important, he's just there for safety. Okay, so we've got base we can go into here. You're back. More sheep. Cover your angles. So we know where our opponent is. I need to put on my hotkeys. So let's get that on the go. What's he doing? All oh, right, it's my water mental. Okay, let's keep moving. Sork. Can actually get another one of those. Over to the top left. We got a town portal, so I can just use it when I need to. It'd actually be really nice to do that spot if it hasn't been done yet. Obviously, I'm going to draw him over, though. Yeah. Yeah, I can't kill too much here. Not with what I have. Oh, hello. Yeah. Poor Blood Mage is not having a good time, is he? Just bumping into the enemy every single time. Funny thing is... is this would be funny if I get the kill. Ah, okay. He did have a town portal. So we've managed to draw like the entire enemy team, which is what I is one of my specialties, to be honest. Is getting the intention, the attention of every single player on the enemy team, and we're building up our forces, saving up gold, making sure we're getting the upgrades for the maximum damage for value. See if there's anything left to creep. Pink's taken that spot for the aura, so I have to do this spot nearby. Not using my units at the moment. Keeping them somewhat protected. Hmm, skeletons coming in handy. It's alright, innit? Let's knock that down so I can see better. I'll almost be level 5. Which is a nice experience. Thank you there for the bits. What is your most memorable match from Warcraft 3 over the years? I don't know. I have a terrible memory for anything like that. Let's just say the one where I uh, lost. No, I actually. Yeah, okay. I didn't. Well, it's a spoiler, but anyway. Blade Master versus Dreadlord. Dreadlord sleeping me like crazy. Me getting very angry. But I never really have. Like, I've never been one of these people where I know exactly what my favourite is or. Ah, right. They're good to go. Which is bad news for us because I've actually been playing this game properly. We don't even have any. Yeah, are we all TPing? I guess so. Like, I haven't got much to TP with. Let's hope for the best, because that's one heck of a precision. I've TP'd all the way back here, because I didn't know what we're going to get. Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> what can you do? I don't want to TP too aggressive and get like blown up by chimeras. It's time to start building up the units, because this is supposed to be one of those kind of strategies where... Oh man, I'm tempted to kill those wisps just so I can actually get... No, I can't even do it. This is actually one of the safest positions, though, considering how easy it is to move this down. Okay, we look like we're okay now. I could use Flame Strike. Kind of. That's the only path there and there. Well, on the bright side, they didn't manage to kill us there, so that gives me more time to build up my invisible strats. So I'm going to send you back. We're going to go and invis the heck out of them now. Because we're getting close to that point. And you can come join up with me. 
after the fact. I've lost all my weaker units, which is fine. We are good to go on damage. Almost got maximum upgrades. May as well get some flares. Don't know if I've still got like critters lying around. That's not mine. That one's mine. So we got one there. I need like an easier way to identify my own critters. <laughs> you can't really see them on the minimap. That's the problem. So, anyway, Hello. let's uh, let's get this going. Let's get to we can actually really go crazy. Blood Mage is back. Get another town portal for you. I'm just gonna sell that. Get this over. Push this here, push this here, you to there, you to here, and away we go. Right, one of my critters just got killed there. No, can't reach him. Invisibility lasts for two minutes, so it's a pretty long time. Make sure you actually invis every single unit, though, that you are moving out with. Because if one of them isn't, then it's a bit of a giveaway. And now we have the clunky, uh, the pathing with which to deal. Wait, you're not, you are invis. It doesn't look like he's invis, does it? For some reason, that one stands out to me massively. Maybe it's when they're in the water. When they're in the water, they don't look in fizz. Oh my god, this is... This is awkward. They're gonna hit my base soon. They're getting attacked near the top. Keeps them distracted. This is gonna hurt them more than it's gonna hurt me. Let's get to fighting. Show us a target. Where do you want us? And water mental and go. Okay, that went down in almost one shot. <laughs> There's no reaction for that. And that's how you lose an entire base. Nothing you can do in that circumstance. Just make sure if they're coming to attack or not. I can TP up to like the top points. I think this guy's stuck. Hello. Okay, it's time to TP out. TP to someone's base because it wouldn't let me TP up here for some reason. Oh my days, it's a massacre. That was nice of it to let me TP out there. <laughs> Not. Don't actually have a good answer for those chimeras. All those units. Like, it might be an idea just to whack down so many towers that it makes it harder for them to siege me down. Almost level 6 on the Archmage, which would really help a lot. You can see my little critter here. Still got one there. I've even got one here. I don't think I have any on the top side for a reason. Oh, here they come. So, back off. Who knows what's going on, whether we're defending this. Looks like we're going to try to defend it. Game's got to the point where the armies are so big. Even my open space base still seems kind of really small. I mean, look how much space I'm taking in there. Bunch of excess peasants that aren't doing much. Ah, right, they split up there. Time to get myself. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, this is the problem, move. Do you require a 
There's no space. That's an enemy base there. I'm kind of moving out to the next point though. Whether I should help defend or not. I don't really have the answer to defend first, is that? And Pink's doing his own thing there. It's kind of turned into a really messy game, to be frank with you. Okay. Still building. We'll just go for the next big base. They don't have many bases left to, for me to sort of like town portal around to. Make them salty, but you get the idea. So, a water mental and straight on it. Water mental just takes aggro from everything. There you go. Boom. There's like, there's no way to react versus that. If you don't see it coming. Even if you TP'd like as soon as the first attack went off, you would not get it. As long as you've got like almost a full group of high max up damage uh, mortar teams, you cannot respond to that. No chance. And we finally got Town Portal, so we can play around with that now. So you Town Portal over here. Make sure you've always got a Town Portal on one of your heroes. And straight right click. And then that's basically gone within almost one shot. And then of course, if I had a critter here, I would TP there or here, and so forth. The mortar teams reign supreme. Oh, hang on. Time to town portal properly because that's a lot coming our way. Hello. We've also got this to deal with. I hope I can deal with that, with just basically my heroes, because mortar teams can't attack here. <laughs> Although, hang on a second, I've got the most powerful units in the game. Sorks! I want to go buy some town portals whilst we're doing this chase. He's going to be running to his buddy. Oh, nice bash proc. Town portal, town portal. It's cool down. Got most of those. They'll stay polymorph for quite a long time. Oh, blimey, this is a mess, isn't it? There's so much air. It's always air, isn't it? I think we're lucky enough to get as much of this strategy done as possible. Yes, you could use an invisible peasant. You could send a peasant over if you're not using mechanical critters, for example. Invis them and then off you go. But I think, um, yeah, under the circumstances, this is about as good as it kind of gets in a lot of ways for doing invisible mortars. Because bear in mind that you're kind of useless to your allies, as you could see. We could have lost that fight because of me up the top there. Because I'm not doing much other than just having a bunch of mortar teams that ain't doing much. It takes a while to get it all set up, but once it does, then you can start town portal around the place. We still got our critters, not many of them, but two left. And you can see these guys here. Invis, 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 invis. and then spread them out to different locations. So where's my mortar teams? Bring them in, boys. I got almost too many mortar teams now, not enough sorks for the mana. Hopefully Brilliant Sora makes a difference here. Right. Sorry, buddy. Nice guy. Right. Bring in the Sorks. I mean, I don't even have to be invisible anymore, to be frank with you. Because <laughs> I'm going to go... Ah! Yes, I do! Run away! Oh my god. This is horrible. I got no space. I'm moving everything up to the top here. They are town portland though, to deal with that. It's that pure air. 
Let's just keep everything here. You can only town portal with 24 units, so it's not everything. Oh, he's killing that. Right, so that's town portal here. See you later. Nine seconds left on the mass town portal. In comes the first frosty worm, but the proposed have it covered. He's coming straight in there. Melee combat with mortars. Mm, that's not my rabbit anymore. That's my one. This is very annoying to play against. You can't really defend. Like, they're going for mass siege as well. So we just need to get those mortar teams to flare up and change the colours so we can see more clearly who's got what buildings and where. So you can see there's something here. I could send one mortar team, literally just one to go deal with that. You got this here, so split that. Take care of the peasants and then TP over here to start destroying buildings quicker. TP over here. And away you go. Sorks are like my counter towards the mass air. At least the Chimeras. So that deals with that. Yep. They ain't got much left. It's an all in, but they. Oh, he's really going for it. That is a lot of hippos, but they are getting destroyed by those guards, right? This is a bit of a race, to be frank with you, because I don't blame my allies, but they're getting a little bit impatient and essentially doing a lot of one versus three situations, which isn't the best, because eventually we end up having no units left. And then before you know it, these mortar teams are like the last things that can actually kill the opponent. See, six food, 40 food. And this guy at least has 81 food, so he hasn't wasted everything yet. <laughs> Let's take care of that. I kind of want to do this just for the aura. So we're going to get our mortars, focus that down, and go. Boom. It's quite satisfying, isn't it? Splash damage is harsh. Oh, Ancient Django. Can town portal over here. Is that his last building? I think it might be. Are we going to steal credit? No. No, we are not. So he must have hidden some buildings somewhere. It's time to change the colour. Just check around. At situations like this, you just kind of want to whack out a bunch of peasants and just... If you, if night Elf's the best for this. But you just take so many expansions and go crazy. Well, trying to work out where they've hidden the building. I've got flares going up on the map. You don't see them so easily when I've got that. Oh, I see. Could be it. There it is. The last piece of the puzzle. Powerful stuff. So you have to wonder if the uh, Blood Mage is worth it. It depends on the game. Like, the game was going pretty well, which is why I went for a second hero. Although he didn't have much luck staying alive once I bought him. But if you were struggling to get your Archmage to level 6, then you might want to just stick with a level 1 hero. Because it levels up faster if you go Castle. It's 15% for, like, keep, which is tier 2. And then 30% bonus experience for a castle if you've only got one hero. If you've got a second hero or you're training a second hero, it doesn't count. You have to have only one hero. And there you go. Not the most perfect execution of the strategy, but done nonetheless.